We're coming up to the, the mine explosion site. This area, in 1967 and 1968, you know, it was the most feared and loathed place in the whole province. Everybody was terrified of this place called the Light Green. It's called the Light Green because on, um, on maps that we had, this was a shaded green area. The reason we were so terrified of it, and so was the task force, is because it was absolutely saturated with mines to stop Australian soldiers coming through here and, and to make sure that they were blown up. Now those mines, they were called M16A1 mines. They were made by Americans. They were stolen by the Viet Cong and put in the ground to use against us. And they were particularly put on tracks like this. It was the size of a jam can and inside it was a steel casing and inside that was a pound of explosive and at the top sticking out of it was like a pen called a striker and it was put into the ground and they had three little prongs on the end of that pen when they put it into the ground they pulled the pen out and then all that was left above ground was three little prongs so when you came along you trod on it and it went click and before you figured what had happened your foot was lifted off it and it went click again and at that instant a charge inside the mine blew the mine out of the ground and in half of a second after coming out of the ground it exploded so it exploded behind you and at the legs and the shrapnel shot out 30 meters in 360 degrees the other thing about it was it sandy very easy to dig and put a mine in. So when the Australians came down here to try and block, contact the opposition forces, they never, ever walked on tracks. Never. They walked through that bush. So they didn't tread on these mines that the Viet Cong had stolen to use against us. They were an obscenity. We got, you know, all upset because they're using these mines and blowing us up when actually we built them to blow them up. And the devastation that they could create was absolutely mind-blowing. And what happened after more and more men got killed and wounded in here from those mines, psychologically, we, the soldier was devastated. And coming here again terrified him because nothing terrifies a soldier more than a booby trap or a mine because he knows that it probably won't kill him, may not kill him, but it'll maim him. And the opposition forces know if it maims him and wounds him, it's gonna take four people at least and a helicopter to get him out. Yeah. So I, I'm here now and you know, you look at it, it's like a beautiful wooded area where you'd have a picnic. But this place is just so bad and full of so many bad vibrations. At that moment I saw that flash, I felt this massive impact in my back and I went deaf. My ears popped in. I lifted about three feet off the ground here. I went up and forward and my rifle went straight into the sand. 